Hi everybody, my name is Mike Phillips and in this next part of my WinGPOS tutorials we will be covering the image measurement basics. Image measurements are used to create derotation maps as well as full planet maps. The first thing we're going to talk about is a, a review. Uh, I will put a link to my previous video that covers ephemeris and getting used to uh, planet orientation and things like that. Uh, then we'll go through uh, understanding your image orientation. So let's go ahead and go back into WinJupos and take a look at the previous section where we were and one little thing in the ephemeris that we want to make note of is uh, in, in the graphics section here you'll find features that will help you match up your north and south and the planets north and south so make sure that you understand that uh, for example the the north polar cap on Mars is here and in your image it might be on the top so just note that the ephemeris will tell you the true north and south and then use the features again to determine where the east and the west are the options tab in ephemeris will give you a good orientation for your particular image sets. So if you have south at the top versus north at the top, you can use these radio buttons here to help you see which one is the proper direction and which one will show you when you create the image map the orientation that you need to use. So let's go ahead and look at that next section now. To understand your own image orientation, open a few images up that you've taken recently, hopefully enough um, where they're close enough together in time that as you look at a few, you get a sense for which direction the planet's rotating. And in my case, the earlier images here, if you look at the, uh, the red spot, this is the red spot junior, it's going to move from left to right going forwards in time. Okay. And as we look at the WinJupo settings, you'll notice that that is reflected uh, in fo uh, following and preceding F and P. And you'll see an arrow uh, in WinJupo. So 